January 2023, I decided I needed a challenge and that challenge was going to be running a sub two hour half marathon. So I've got the medal, but did I manage to do it? It gave myself a challenge. It felt really good. So now, how these easy miles sometimes don't feel that easy. I'm whispering because it's super early. My heart rate peaked, I think, at about 183. I had like a random heat wave, the dreaded tempo run. But I did it. Now, to be honest, this week has been um, a little bit of a mess. I'm for a run of long attempts. I've got a raging um, wisdom tooth infection. I'm visualising positivity. It's absolutely ruined me. Feeling fresh. That our last wee. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Not one to blow my own trumpet, but I absolutely smashed it. My official time was one hour, 56 minutes and 29 seconds. Woo! So in this video, I take you on 10 weeks of my life through a training plan that I stuck to as rigidly as life would allow. You are going to see diary entries of the highs, the lows and everything in between. Times when I was loving the training plan and times that I was loathing it. What I will say is this training plan was the first one I have ever really taken part in other than loosely following some other training plans in the past. This one I committed to 10 full weeks of my life where I really ate, drank, slept and breathed running or the next run or recovering ready for the next run. And I can really tell the difference in how I was able to be so prepared for this run. There is zero chance that I would have been able to have gained a 156 half marathon time prior to this 10 week training plan. And so now my thought process around training plans and how they work um, has changed completely and really if you want to get the results that you want to get sticking rigidly to a training plan that fits around your life um, but takes you out of your comfort zone and makes you try and do things that you haven't before has 100% in my situation paid off. So please continue watching along this journey of 10 weeks of my life, 10 gruelling weeks of my life but 10 weeks that accumulated in one of the best feelings I have ever had. Now, this is not going to be easy for me at all. Um, I have been running really regularly, but really my running has just been putting one foot in front of the other and just making myself feel good, keeping my body fit. And I haven't really particularly focused on any sort of very specific training other than increasing miles when I did London Marathon. Um, or pace or anything like that um, and so this task is going to be a huge task um, we David and I both gave ourselves this task however the training plan starts tomorrow which is Monday the 7th of August and David being the jammy person that he is went out yesterday in the pouring rain thought oh, I might do 10 miles might do a little bit more ended up doing a half marathon in a sub two hour time 158 so he absolutely smashed it he is incredible I'm very jealous and so now really that can't be his target for all October so um I am off out now today for my last sort of normal run before the strict training plan starts tomorrow. I'm aiming to do two hours of running um, at a really slow pace, a zone two pace, just a nice easy pace. However, I'm really nervous about today's run. I don't know why. I think it's the anticipation of this training plan starting tomorrow. And I know that I'm really going to have to knuckle down and really stick to that training plan and work really hard, be very determined to get that done. Um, so I think that's a little bit of the feeling, but also I'm running at a really different time today. So I'm running in the afternoon. Normally I run very early in the morning and always fasted. However, the timings for today and David starting work meant that we had like a cooked breakfast at like late brunch time. And so I've been waiting for that to go down and then I'm going to do a run. So I'm a little bit nervous because I just never run with any food in my stomach. I never run at this time. So I know that that's going to be really good for me, but um, all the thoughts of stitches and feeling unwell and not being able to do it are entering my mind. But I'm gonna change that mindset and I'm gonna think that sausage and bacon is gonna fuel me um, and then repair my muscles afterwards, hopefully. Anyway, so last long run today and then training plan starts tomorrow. So I'm just back. I did 10 miles, just under two hours. 
nice slow pace but actually it felt really good so now I'm thinking actually I quite like eating two hours before running which is going to be really difficult when I tend to leave at about 10 to 6 in the morning to run so we need to have a think about this um fueling and also I did listen to a podcast about um, nutrition while I was running it was on the Jenny Faulkner run pod um with a nutritionist and um she was talking about some really good things to do with fueling and half marathon and marathon training so so today is day two of the training plan love a training plan that starts with day one as a rest day or cross training so yesterday was that um rest day i did some pilates in the evening which helped me to stretch out after my long run on sunday today was day two and it's four easy miles so it describes the easy miles as about 30 seconds to a minute slower than your wanted pace or your half marathon pace so the half marathon pace is going to be 909 and so i needed to be running my miles this morning at about 939 to 1009 i was actually spot on 940 minute miles but it's weird how these easy miles sometimes don't feel that easy and so then you can sort of get in your head and think well how on earth am I meant to shave time off of this for a much longer run but my legs are tired still from Sunday um, I'm gonna trust the training plan um, I felt good this morning however shaving time off it didn't seem like a possibility but I'm gonna trust the process um, and so tomorrow is a cross training day so I'm going to go to the gym and train upper body so plan has started we're in full force um, let's see how week one goes so it is Thursday of week one of the training plan I'm whispering because it's super early it's about 20 past five and um, I just woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep so I thought right I'm gonna go out now my alarm was set for quarter to six um, I'm a little bit apprehensive about this run this morning um, so this is the first one that I'm a bit apprehensive about because I think the Thursday ones are going to be tricky so today it's five miles um, with three miles at 8.54 pace I know I can do it but I think it's just a little bit of a mind block I'm gonna have positive mindset I'm just gonna get to that pace and I'm gonna stick to that pace I'm gonna keep calm think about all the things that I have told other people and that people tell me so um, I will report back but this is definitely one that I am a little bit apprehensive about I'll see you on the other side well no lighting is good for this sweaty mess but I can't believe it I actually did it um, it was possibly the hardest thing I've ever done and it is pretty warm this morning um, but I managed to do my first mile easy second mile 8.44 third mile 8.51 and fourth mile 831 and then finished with an easy mile so I managed to do all three of the miles together consecutively and all under the target pace which was 854 so I'm really pleased with that my heart rate peaked I think at about 183 at one point going up a hill um, my legs felt like jelly but I'm really proud of myself I really didn't think that I was going to be able to do that I was really apprehensive about it um, I mean I do now need to do that pace for another 10 miles on top of those three which is slightly freaking me out but I didn't think I'd be able to do what I did this morning and so the fact I could do that then perhaps I can do this sub two. So this is week one of the training plan complete so today is long run seven miles I'm out with David. This week has been quite tough I think the anticipation of starting the training plan I'm wanting to stick really rigidly to it has caused a little bit of anxiety but I feel like I have smashed this week so I'm feeling really positive in like a pretty mental week work wise as well so I think if I can do that this week the only way is up so seven miles a day that'll be an accumulation of 20 miles for the week week two starting tomorrow <laughs> week two and I'm just back from four easy miles week's been going well so far um, although my hip has been crying a little bit I don't think it's anything to worry about I think it's just the increase in mileage um, and also multiple days or consecutive days running so I think it's just my body getting used to a different routine um, and so I've just been doing lots of stretching hot water bottles been using magnesium spray on it as well um, and yeah, I think it will just get over itself really. So still going really well. Um, and, but I can definitely feel the increase in mileage for sure. I definitely feel like I'm just running more in the week, but enjoying it and uh, yeah, still on plan. So I'm now out week two ending on an eight mile long run. So I'm gonna take this super steady. I've got my hydration and my gels. 
I've also come out a little bit later and I've tried fueling a little bit beforehand because although I normally run faster in the mornings I know on race day the run doesn't start till 10.30 so I need to get used to doing some sort of fasting some, some sort of fueling even before race day so I'm just trialling some different things at the moment so I've done that give myself an hour got all my hydration bits I'm just going to enjoy a nice run in the sunshine feels like I smashed week two hip has been a little bit sore but feels okay touch wood today and so a cumulative miles this week after today will be 21. So today is Sunday and it marks the end of week three of the training plan, which this week has gone really well. I've had to switch up a couple of things. So my Thursday tempo run, I switched to Wednesday just because Thursday was GCSE exam results day. And so I didn't want the stress of having to do my tempo run on top of the stress of getting Lola's GCSE results as well. So I switched that up and that seemed to work fine. So I still did my easy miles on Tuesday and Friday. And today is nine miles, which we I'm going out with David. And so we are going to watch our pace a little bit see if we can bring it down towards the, the goal half marathon pace um but i also had a couple of glasses of wine last night so i don't know if that'll be possible anyway it'll be miles in the legs so that is the end of week three which marks 23 accumulative miles this week so it's thursday of week four of the training plan I was up super early this morning so much so that even though it's the last day of august um so technically still summer it was um, pitch black outside, I couldn't believe it, but actually it made for a little bit of a cooler run. So today, Thursday, is the dreaded tempo run. I don't know why I get myself so anxious about this, but I was awake at half past three worrying about it. Um, today was the longest one so far, six miles, first mile and last mile easy, and then the four miles in the middle at a nine minute mile pace. Um, yeah, again, I always worry about it, but I always end up doing it. Um, and it felt quite comfortable today, really. Um, the first two miles were sort of coming out of where I live, so it's slightly uphill, so it was quite difficult. My heart rate was quite high. But then it meant that when I turned around, the second two miles of that tempo part was slightly downhill, so that was nice and comfortable. Um, and even, even the easy mile at the end, I struggled really to make it all that easy because I was so used to running in that faster pace. So I could definitely see the training plan coming together. I am feeling positive um, nearly, well, middle of week four of the training plan, so still six weeks to go. So today is Sunday and it marks the end of week four of the training plan. So today is a long run, nine miles, just going to take it super easy, sun shining, just going to enjoy it today. This week the runs have felt really good. Um, I feel like I'm on plan and everything is going to plan other than bits of strength training. I have found that the increase in mileage has made me like exhausted. And so on Wednesday, rather than doing cross training, or strength training I did take an extra rest day and Saturdays as well I have taken as rest days so there has been a little bit of an alteration of what I envisaged I would do in the beginning but this part is really just down to listening to my body a little bit more and um, it seems to be working in then my ability to recover ready for the next run so still doing a little bit of cross training still doing Pilates and a little bit of strength but um, yeah just holding back and increasing rest days to listen to my body so accumulative miles for this week will be 24 and I will look forward to taking you on week five. So it is Tuesday of week five of the training plan and I'm out for an easy five miles this morning. It's actually pretty dark and a little bit foggy as well so autumn's definitely on its way however we have a heat wave this week which actually isn't music to my ears because um, I've got some tough runs to do and it's going to be like 29 degrees. So I'm setting my alarm early, it's 20 past five now, so I can get these runs done while it's relatively cool. And hopefully the fact that the sun isn't up will help. So today, five easy miles to kick off week five. So it is Sunday of week five of the train plan, so officially halfway. Today was um, some easy miles, just five miles, because this week has ramped up. So I've run five days rather than four. Um, and so it was just five miles today, but I'm really pleased because we've had like a random heat wave at the beginning of September. And I was actually looking forward to some cooler mornings and runs. Um, 
happening, but that hasn't been the case at all. So this week has been really intense. I've really struggled this week. The tempo run was tough, um, but the heat, I think, has just robbed me of any energy. And I think my fueling, I need to think about as well. Um, this week now is an accumulative of 24 miles. Um, and so, yeah, still feeling good, um, but looking forward to the temperature reducing um, because I think that that's really gonna help me be able to increase my pace and not feel so lethargic. So although beautiful blue skies behind me, that run was tough this morning for sure. And this week has been tough. So end of week five, halfway there, five weeks time, it'll be the Great Eastern. And uh, hopefully I'll be plodding my way or zooming my way to a sub two. So it is Tuesday of week six of the training plan. I'm whispering slightly because everybody's still asleep. It's pitch black outside, but I'm hoping that today's run marks the first in slightly cooler temperature. Last week um, was beginning of September and like just this random heat wave when the children went back to school. And I'm not gonna lie, last week almost killed me. Um, I just think the amount that I sweated, the amount of salt that I lost, um, yeah, I was pretty ruined most of last week. So I'm quite looking forward to getting out and doing some cooler miles, hopefully. Um, feel like I've hit a bit of a, tr a peak in the training plan and I feel like perhaps now that's going to sort of scale back slightly. I'm going to feel the benefits of the work that I've been doing. Parts of my body are definitely screaming. Um, the increase in mileage um, is definitely affecting things like my feet, my calves are really tight. But I had a good Pilates session last night and so I'm really looking forward to just four easy miles this morning um, and four cooler easy miles, which will make it much easier as well. So week six of the training plan, halfway point is done, um, and I will see you on the other side. So it's Friday of week six, and I've switched this up a little bit. So I've done my 10 mile long run, which should be on Sunday, but we are in London for the weekend. So today should have been four easy miles. We're gonna do that on Sunday along the Thames, which will be really nice. So I completed my 10 mile long run this morning. Thought that I would give myself a bit of a challenge to do it at race pace, just to test out the plan, give myself a little bit of peace of mind, and perhaps give me some positivity going forward for the next month or some negativity I guess if I didn't do it but I did it nine minute miles for 10 miles I can't believe it I don't quite think I could do another 3.1 but I'm sure I meant to think that but at least it gives me a little bit of confidence in the plan so far and in my body and perhaps my ability to do it on a race day so not doubting this challenge quite so much now um, so I need a shower like I'm a sweaty mess but feeling like I'm going into a weekend away, feeling really positive um, and looking forward to a run in London on Sunday. So we are up nice and early. It's Sunday morning in London and we are going for a run along the Thames. Um, this isn't something that we used to do at all, but now we've packed our running gear. I've got to do a training run, so we're gonna do four easy miles um, and we're just gonna enjoy running somewhere completely different with some amazing scenery. So some photos along the way. Good morning, it is Sunday and it is the end of week seven of the training plan. So today is still the long slow run, but we have decided just to practice our fueling. So we have got up, got a protein bagel with jam. Um, and so then we're gonna have that for breakfast and then wait a while before we go out for the long run. So I've got 11 miles to do today, just at a slow, comfortable pace. Um, but this is my very first run as a qualified PT because on Friday I did my assessment and I passed. So it feels a little bit different. Um, so yeah, sort of looking forward to today, but I was just saying today, but it feels really strange because normally we just get up, get our running stuff on and go, don't really have time to think about it. Um, it feels weird today because I feel like there's something happening, like we're making a bagel and then we're not getting out and going straight away. So I think it sort of gives me race day nerves a little bit. So looking forward to today, that'll be the end of week seven. Um, accumulative miles should be of 26, but I did miss out a three mile run on Tuesday just because my calves and Achilles were really tight. So accumulative miles for me, 23. 
um, and I will see you in week eight. So it's Tuesday of week eight. Oh my gosh, it's fastly approaching. I feel like I'm whispering because suddenly, very dark outside, um, everybody's still asleep. So I am off to start this week with three easy miles. Looking forward to that. Can still feel the 11 miles from Sunday in my legs. So I'm just looking forward to a bit of a shake out run. Um, good podcasting and uh, yeah, starting the week off. This week is going to be the highest mileage at an accumulative of 30 miles by the end of this week. And then the taper will start down to race day. So all starting to feel a little bit real, feeling like the pressure is definitely on. Um, wondering if I'm going to be able to do this or not. Everybody seems to be getting ill as well. So I've got a little bit of um, paranoia about getting ill. Um, but yeah, let's just smash out this week. So week eight, day one, let's go do it. So it's Thursday of week eight. Today I should have been running a seven mile tempo run. However, I have got a raging um, wisdom tooth infection, got some antibiotics from the dentist yesterday, so I've been feeling rough this week. So I managed to do my three easy miles on Tuesday. I did three easy miles yesterday. I don't even know how I did those because I was in so much pain. And then managed to get an emergency appointment at the dentist yesterday. So I've never had toothache before. And now I know what everyone's talking about because it is not great. So there's no way I could have done my seven um, tempo miles this morning. So I'm just going to see, I want these antibiotics to kick in and then I'm going to see how I feel. And I might do that tomorrow instead of four easy miles. I've got 13 miles to do on Sunday. So at the moment, all of that is just feeling a little bit overwhelming. Um, and having this a couple of weeks before race day is not ideal. Um, but we're going to power through and we're going to see how this week goes. And yeah, I'm sure missing a couple of runs if I have to isn't going to be the end of the world, but it sort of feels a little bit like it when I've been making so much progress. So time for a bagel and an antibiotic first thing on the Thursday morning. Good morning. It is Sunday of week eight of the training plan. Um, to be honest, this week has been um, a little bit of a mess. So last week I started with a bit of toothache. I've never had toothache before. And then it just slowly um, grew until then I had to get an emergency dentist appointment, which I've talked about. And so I'm on antibiotics. So I have missed two training runs of this week, which I'm really gutted about because this training plan was literally going the best that it could have, which probably tempted fate. Um, I could really feel improvement. I could feel the progression. My pace was increasing. I'd gone out and done that 10 miles at race pace or below race pace. So I was like, yeah, I'm killing this. Yeah, bring on Great Eastern. I'm going to smash it. And then life comes along and smacks you literally with a spade in the face. So, um, this week I feel it's been rubbish. I did three easy miles on Tuesday, three miles on easy miles on Wednesday, and then I couldn't do my seven mile tempo run on Thursday or my four easy miles on Friday. So I know it's not the end of the world, two runs. It's those tempo runs that I dread, but I feel that they've given me the most progression though. So I'm gutted that I missed that. Anyway, today on the training plan is 13 miles long run. It's the longest run. Um, and this should have been the longest week of running um, a cumulative miles of 30, although obviously it's not going to be anywhere near that. So I'm going to go out and do my 13 miles today, nice and slow, just steady. Um, antibiotics feel like they've kicked in. Um, so yeah, we're just going to see how it goes really. So I'm packing my gels. I've got my salmon vest, so I'm going to hydrate. Um, I've had half a bagel and an antibiotic to get me going. And um, yeah, looking forward to getting today done and hopefully feeling a little bit more confident on the other side of it. So this is pretty much our evenings now, not even two weeks out from the race day. David is currently thoroughgunning my calves because my calves are definitely crying. So each evening, that's his job, Theragun the calves. Um, so this week I've done three easy miles yesterday, Tuesday, three easy miles this morning. Tomorrow is meant to be my tempo run with mile repeats at 8.15 per mile. However, that's gonna be a seven mile run and I can't get that in before work. And also I'm working late and then I've got to pick Lola up from her shift at McDonald's at 10 o'clock at night. So that's just not happening. So I'm gonna do my three easy miles from Friday, tomorrow morning, and then Friday I've got some time off. So I'm going to complete the mile repeats then. Um, then we finish this week with a 10 mile run and then next week is proper tapering, rest and lots of this thorough gunning. It's a shame you can't do your own calves, isn't it? You need somebody else to do it. 
oh my goodness, I am ruined. Run four of week eight should have been completed yesterday, but I switched yesterday and today over um, because I had a long day at work yesterday. And I'm so glad I did that, that I would not have been able to do that before a day at work. It's absolutely ruined me. So it was four mile repeats at 8.15 pace, so the fastest pace that I've had to maintain at all in this training plan and four miles of them. So it started with a mile easy warm up and then half a mile recoveries between each of the mile repeats. Oh my goodness, the, the first two were sort of uphill, gradual and against the wind. Um, but for the first three, I did manage to maintain a below 8.15 pace. But on the last mile, I just had nothing left. I think my pace was about 8.42 or something. I had to walk the recoveries in between. They're meant to be really slow jogs, but I tried to jog, but I was just absolutely, I had nothing left. My heart rate was peaking at 182. Um, so yeah, by far the hardest run of this whole training plan. Feeling good, a little bit of a run is high. Now I've got it done. Um, but man, how do people even run at that pace consistently for a long period of time? That ruined me. So that is our last long run done before this time next week where we will be out on the course, hopefully smashing some nine minute miles, feeling fresh, hopefully. Anyway, that was a 10 mile run. Nice, just gentle, easy, long run. And now we're gonna enjoy a week of tapering that I've been looking forward to this week intensely. So accumulative miles of week nine of the training plan is 26. Feeling good this time next week is race day. So it's Thursday and that is my last run done before race day. This week has been feeling really strange. I think taper week always does. Um, you're just aware of anything that is niggling or hurting. So I've just been making sure I've been doing loads of stretching. I just had three easy miles to do on Tuesday and then today was my last um, sort of tempo run or like mile repeat but there was only one of them so it was three miles two miles easy and then mile in the middle at 8.54 which went well um feeling nervous definitely um we've got our race numbers and we've been going through the race details and yeah I'm visualizing positivity for the day I know I can do it but even doing that mile at 8.54 was quite tough anyway going to trust the training plan. Don't feel like I could have done any more than I have. A few bumps in the road with my infected wisdom tooth, but we got over those and Sunday is around the corner. So next time you see me will be race day and I will be a bag of nerves. So we've made it. It's race day morning. We're walking along a really busy road in Peterborough, but all the roads are now closed and ready for the race. So we're fueled, got nervous bellies. We've had our last wee and now we're ready to Go and get to the start line. Getting round, well done, superb. around I really hope that you found it interesting watching the journey of this training plan and the highs and lows that came along with it if you enjoyed this video please smash the thumbs up and if you haven't already please consider subscribing for more of this content in the future